snow up here. I'm no stranger to snow. I didn't know. Hold on one second. Put on this jacket. Let's go. pyramids of man, the so-called mounds that man builds are supposed to mimic these, please. <sighs> Massive and expansive. They go on, it looks like forever. Okay, lead the way. Quiet. on all that God has done on how merciful he's been to me on all the victories that he's allowed for me to take part in that the son has won on fighting my battles for the battles begun I'm thankful to be used to help bring clarity to the confused, freedom to the captive and abused.
unless the Messiah shoes. Mercy. Got a long way to go. And a long way to grow. This world is colder than Colorado snow. <laughs> Look forward to fellowshipping with everybody. I'll probably come in a little early because I know that folks need their rest, but I wanted to make sure that I gave people time, to, ample time to take care of whatever other business or pleasure that they want to take care of. And, um, you know, look at me. We got through taking care of more pressing business. So that's why I made the time so late. I know in the video I said 9 and then in the invites I said 10, mountain time. So central time. Seven. If you've made a comment and I hadn't got to it, well, give you an opportunity to have something to say in the uh, chat room called, um, so, so I see y'all in All right, y'all. Come on. I'm plugging my man Joe True up in Colorado, up high. What was this uh, called? Uh, Guanella Pass. Yeah, Guanella Pass. Mm -hmm. Guanella Pass. My brother. <laughs> Tell my brother Joe how amazing it was to witness the temperature drop. That was mind blowing. He was telling me that down in town, in, in some spots, it can be 70 degrees in the town, and then once you get up in the mountain, it can drop 40 degrees. And that is, I mean, that's just the amazing wonder of God's creation, which has no limitation. Looking at the patterns in the clouds, and I mean, this is just 
this trumps anything you see mankind make. Anything that you see uh, big cities produce that we're supposed to be proud of. And, you know, you go to New York. It was it was a mind blowing sight. Okay, to walk uh, in the streets of New York, downtown New York, in Manhattan, in, in Times Square. That was mind blowing. But it does not compare. All of the lights and, and the buildings, Chicago, Atlanta, uh, you know, downtown Detroit's old Gothic, massive buildings, it doesn't compare. I've never seen the pyramids of Giza, but if the mountain builders, if the mound builders were attempting to create something along the lines of a mountain, they failed miserably. These things are massive. These are 14,000 footers. Mm -hmm. And just look at the beauty of it all. It's beautiful and then it ain't no joke. It's cold. <laughs> and breathtaking. Guys, can we go now? I'm going to step out one more time. And then we out of here. more time it was quite a little drive to get up here so this ain't something people do every day even looking at the cloud look at the clouds look at the patterns in the clouds this is amazing breathtaking Man, you know, man has the desire to try to conquer nature and see if he's built to overthrow the Most High. It's a little bit of a Luciferian streak that we all have in us on some level or another that we do as believers strive to subdue under submission of the creator and his creation stop trying to conquer just enjoy it while we have it to enjoy it's the unplug of my mouth <laughs>